Very warm welcome to Maura. She might have finished as a runner-up in this summer's Love Island, but for a lot of fans, she was the real winner, lighting up the series with her straight-talking humour and a great deal of Irish warmth. So, Maura, you came into the house late, so had you been watching the show before you arrived? Yeah, I was actually. I was on lockdown for two weeks and two days without my phone, no contact to the outside. Um, so yeah, I flew out the same time as the original lineup. And I originally thought I was going in the first three days and then it just kept being pushed back and back. Um, but yeah, I think the time when I went in, I think it was a very good time because I was, I was geared up. I was, I was really ready for it. And you could sort of read it because you what was going on from outside? Yeah, I was watching it and I think it was far better off that I had, I had seen a lot of the episodes beforehand because I knew everyone's name. I knew what was going on. I knew who was with who. You, you first set your sights on Tommy Fury. Yeah, it's fair I, to say that. He was already with Molly May. He, well, you know what? When I was watching, he kind of was, but I wouldn't say fully with her. Not fully with I mean, they weren't married. Yeah, so I got to no. pick three guys to go on a date with yes. um, the first night. So I picked Tommy, Michael and Danny. Yes. And actually, when I went in, I was going more towards Michael. That's but then I when thought. I had the dates, I just had more of a connection with Tommy. Yeah, so and it, sometimes it's that. just an incident. It's humour often, I think, with, your, with, yeah, the, with humor, the guys definitely. you like, yeah. the humour. Yeah, I don't yeah. like anyone too serious. Um, there was another ill... Can I mention the other ill-fated coupling with Tom, who we used to call Other Tom? Uh -huh. <laughs> and he... We can look at a clip, actually. He chose to say oh, something God. rather ill-advised. Yeah, I'm not overthinking it, yeah, but it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if she is all mouth or not. There we go. Oh, that was. Oh. <laughs> I think she heard him. What did you just say to them? No. Why? What did you just say? Just then. It'll be interesting to see if you're all mouth or not. Because it was, they were saying, you're going to get Did you actually just say that? <laughs> now, I, I watched, there was a very interesting thing that started to happen after that. You yeah. began to get really cross about it. I did. As time went on, you got crosser and crosser. Yeah, well, I stormed off and I went up to the girls and I told them what happened. And then he followed me up and I just, yeah, I went a bit crazy. And, and it was all about why shouldn't a woman be able to talk about sex? Yeah, I think he just assumed we were going to go into the hideaway and something was going to happen because I'm open about talking about sex. Um, which is completely wrong. I had no intentions of ever sleeping with the guy. I barely knew him. Um, so I think that comment was just very inappropriate. Yeah, what, what do you think about that, Tessa? I think Maura's absolutely spot on. You know, there is still, uh, and, and interestingly, even with young guys, the presumption that, you know, yeah. uh, you can't just be all mouth and no trousers. And as a woman, it to put trousers. it out there. What was he, wasn't trousers well, he well, said? He no, but, no but he said, well, yeah, let's see if she's, she's all talk, is basically, yeah. let's see yeah. if she can put her money where her mouth is. Yeah, is exactly. she going to follow through? Yeah. Why should she? You know, some of the... Uh, some of the best sex writing doesn't necessarily mean that the writer is every night fornicating. Probably not. Probably in their ivory turret. Yeah. You know, the, the bottom line is the vivid print of the imagination should always reign supreme, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but is it, As the row think... ex escalated, actually, he said that he was just repeating what the boys had said. Oh, that's that so the weak. Boys, yeah. The, that's the so boys weak. actually never said it. So he, no, was, he was lying no, then didn't. afterwards. But can yeah. I ask you a question? When you go on Love Island, because you know how when you look at someone and you can find them very attractive and yeah. they're, but then the pheromones, the way someone smells and the atmosphere around them is so vital to yeah. the chemical connection. What happens if you enter that island and it's just not there for any of them? What, what, what happens then? Would, would what, you, if there's no guy for yeah, you? Yeah, if there's nothing. Well, I got to a point where I thought that there was nobody for me. And would you have just snogged somebody anyway? Just no, 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 no. I actually, no. I thought not. about leaving at one stage. Right. Because I was like, there is but you no don't guy win if you don't anything. snog anybody, do you? It, no, you and don't have to game. snog. To be honest, you snog everyone on the challenges anyway. So snog snogging you. someone isn't really a big deal in the villa. Is it not? You, no, because you do it. You, <laughs> I would you know like what? to just have snogged the whole island. <laughs> right. Because we don't have to snog Jeremy to get on the show. No, I just no, want to make no, everyone no, happy. No, no. Okay, guys. Can we just we mention Curtis? <laughs> yeah. We, we've had AJ in, in this studio. I haven't met Curtis yet. Who was, I loved his moves. On I mean, he was doing some... He's a some, very good dancer. Of course he yeah. is, yeah. And, and things are going strong with him still. Yeah, things are going very, very well, I have to say, yeah. Well, You're still uh, snogging? The, yeah. Okay. Oh. That, no, but that... <laughs> That does sound good. How tell, long has tell it us... been? How long has it been? Um, I'm trying to think now because when I'm in the Probably villa, I have no months. concept of time or eight weeks. 
No, but t come on, that's eternity it when is. you're 28. <laughs> no, he yeah. did. That's at 28. When you're 14. Well, I wasn't went to... the full time when I was in the villa because obviously he was coupled up with Amy. But but did you I'm have very... hearts on him? Did you were you making inroads? Do you know what? Like I haven't watched this program, but I'm fascinated. I, I waited until he was single, and then I. So you're went decent. Yes. Yeah. Decent. And, and oh, the. She's decent. Curtis was, it was a very likeable Storm, wasn't he? Yes, he was very likeable. Well, at the beginning, and then there was a few things that happened that sort of made the nation think, oh, wait, yeah. that's not what I thought you would do. Well, you, you know picked what? A lot of people it. were saying, oh, you know what, he's playing a game and whatever, like what he done to Amy. But I feel like if he stuck with Amy and, and got to the final, that's more him playing a game than what he actually done. But the advice that he gave Jordan and you picked up on it was not yes. the best. Yeah, I mean. Let, well, can we have a look at, do we have some of this advice? Can we can we play this as a clip? Do we have it? It's cheating, Carter. He could have it. That's cheating. He could have led her on just the it's whole time. cheating. It's cheating. Yeah, but he's only just had these feelings now. It, it doesn't matter. He could have just spoke to her. Are you inside his head? No. Well, Am I inside his head? No. Well, then why Are give advice if you Anna's didn't know head? what no. you were doing in this situation? If you, I'm if, not inside her head. No. So in this situation, so if, I've given if, the wrong if advice, I was your girlfriend, then. you would do the same thing. I don't know what I would do with you, more. Well, well, the answer that I would want is that you wouldn't do that. You won't pull a girl behind my back. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what I'd do oh, well, in that wow. situation. Oh, well, that's great. That's, and oh, that it's was just the boy you're with now, now, is it? No, but it's, that's, yeah. it started... It, but that's love-hate. Right? That's chemistry. What, without yes. the cameras, is there still that passion? You know, because you that was all you knew that was being played out, so that's going to fire you up. And no, but you know what? You, you really do forget about the cameras in there. Do you? Yeah, no, honestly, you on my life, the first yes. night I was in there, I totally forgot about the cameras. It's not like there's cameras like placed in your face. So are you still having firecracker moments like that back at home? No, you know what? No, we actually haven't argued. Have you not? Really? No, we haven't. Is it, you've taken him to visit your family in Longford? Yeah. So in, in to Ireland? Yeah. Did he have a good time? Really good time, actually. Well, yeah. so it must be. He loves you're... Ireland. He spends most of his time in Ireland. And you're south of Dublin. You're down south from Dublin, are you? Yeah, or... I'm an, like about an hour and a half from Dublin. Yeah. So is it a, quite a big moment? You come with with Curtis and yeah. yeah, yeah, go and have a drink in the pub. Yeah, and... yeah, it was really, really good fun. Brilliant. Yeah, he enjoyed it. I've got a question for Maura. Yeah. So when your mum came into the villa. Oh. And you asked I've been about asked Curtis. this so many times. I know, but I need to know. So when <laughs> you asked your mum, so do you like Curtis? And where yeah. she was like, well, you look good together. I mean, it was like, as long as you like him, that's all that matters. It was the killer line from any parent, which means yeah. I don't like you know him, but is? we'll discuss it later. Yeah. How's that pan out? Mammy isn't going to judge him by watching him on the TV. Yeah, she, she knows is. it's the TV. That's what they do. That's what well, mums do. No, do you know what? She didn't, and she knew that there was something that I saw on him. And she knows I'm a good judge of character. So she wanted to meet him in person herself and then she could give her opinion but ultimately your mum's cool she's a young I mean her yeah. mum's my age you know uh, is your mum even 50 yet no she's turning 50 this year oh yeah. okay Thank you. <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> I like how you want to move on quickly uh, after that. Okay.